Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install PureDax FSR 3 frame generation mod in Baldur's Gate 3 on Steam Deck with SteamOS. PureDax originally released this mod for Windows platform, did not advertise it for SteamOS. A username Duck333 on PureDax Discord server came up with a fix that got the mod working on SteamOS. This is PureDax Discord server, you can see the instructions provided by user Duck333. In order to get the mod working, we just need to replace one DLL file from PureDax mod with a DLL file from Nukem 9's DLSS G2 FSR3 mod. I'll be showing you the complete process in this video. According to PureDuck, in order to ensure that frame generation is working, we need to check the debug view. If debug view is working, then frame generation should also work. I observed a lot of graphical artifacts when I used FSR3 upscaler. Switching to XCSS helped in reducing the graphical artifacts. This mod comes with XCSS version 1.2. So I'll be manually updating to XCSS version 1.3. XCSS is Intel's upscaler akin to AMD's FSR. It works on any GPU whether it's from Intel, Nvidia or AMD, it does not matter. In most of the cases, it produces better looking upscale images than FSR3 upscaler. First I'll run the vanilla version of the game. I'm using G Proton version 9-4 as the compatibility layer. It's very important to run the game in borderless window mode before installing the mod. 720p resolution VSync disabled I'll set FSR 2.22 performance everything set to low I'll straight away load the third act lower city area performance type I've set the frame rate limit and refresh rate to 70 this is the LCD variant of Steam Deck I have overclocked display from 60 to 70 Hz only level set to 3 that's it is my character Kalak. Here we are getting around 35 FPS using mouse and keyboard to play the game. Close to 30 FPS in some areas, FPS will drop down to as low as 20. I'm just entering the tavern. Lot of non playable characters here. 26 FPS, 21 FPS. This area is populated with NPCs. Very taxing on the processor. See the high temperatures 86 degrees Celsius. Okay, explosion caused the FPS to drop down to around 13, back up to 27. Rough experience on Steam Deck, hitting the hardware limitation. Now I'll install the mod. Switch to SteamOS desktop mode. First I'll download the mod itself, it's a paid one, you need to subscribe to PureDuck's Patreon in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. This is PureDuck's Discord, just click on PG3 beta access in the download section. Scroll down to the end, you'll find the link to the mod, PG3 upscaler, FSR3 build 0 to zip, click on it, installation instructions have been provided here. Now I'll be downloading Nukem 9's DLSS G2 FSR3 mod, you can download it from Nexus Mods website, it's free need to have a free nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here click on files then click on manual download under dlsg to fsr3 0.9 click on slow download now i'll be downloading xcss sdk version 1.3 this is optional mod comes with version 1.2 i'll give the link to this website in the description of the video under set section just click on xcss sdk version 1.3 these are the archive files that I just downloaded. By default, they will be present in the download section. I have transferred them to another folder, namely it as PG3 FSR3. Does not matter, you can name it anything. First, just extract the contents of PureDuck's mod archive file, PG3 upscaler. Select all the files and folders here. Drag and drop them outside of this archive window. Right here. These are the files and folders that we just extracted, highlighting them copy need to paste them in the games install directory open steam select the game in your steam library right click manage then click on browse local files this is the games install directory open bin folder paste the files here done now we just need to extract one dll file from newcam as dlss g2 fsr3 mod open the archive file extract this file 
DLSS G2 FSR3 AMD is better dot DLL. Drag and drop it outside of this archive window right here. There's the file. Copy. This is Polter Skate 3 install directory. Open bin folder. Open mods folder. Open upscaler base plugin folder. Paste the DLL file here. Now just select this DLL file ffx underscore backend underscore dx12 underscore x64. Right click. Rename. Copy all of the text. Copy. Now I can delete this file. Now select Nucum9 DLL file. Right click. Rename. Paste. So we have replaced PureDax DLL file with Nucum9 DLL file. Now this is the DLL file corresponding to XCSS upscaler. It's version 1.2. I'll be updating it as well. Just open the XCSS archive file that we just downloaded, it, version 1.3. Open bin folder. Just need to extract this DLL file. LIB XCSS. Drag and drop it outside of this window. There it is. Copy. Go back to the games install directory. Bin folder, mods folder, upscaler base plugin folder. And just overwrite this lib xcss.dll file. Override. That's it, we are done. Now we just need to add a launch option to the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog, then click on properties. Under launch options, just add this line of text. I'll provide it in the description of this video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. This will load the version.dll file. Switch to Steam Gaming Mode. If you are running the mod for the first time, you will be required to go through the authentication process. When you open the mods menu, an authenticate button will pop up. Just click on it. It will open a browser window. Make sure you sign into your Patreon account. The authenticator will ask for your permission. Just click on allow. After that, return to the game. Now open mods menu. You should be able to access the settings. Same proton compatibility layer. Play. We are in. I'll just remove the FPS cap. There you go. Frame rate limit set to off. Law tearing setting enable. Switch to 800p resolution. Vsync disable. Yeah, now we have access to DLSS. I have set it to performance. Low settings. Borderless window mode. So these were the game settings. Now I'll enable the mods menu by pressing the end keyboard key. Now if you don't have a keyboard with numpad keys, you can map end keyboard key to any of the back grip buttons of Steam Deck. I'll just quickly show you the process. Press Steam button here. Go to controller settings. I'll just map end keyboard key to L5 back grip button. Select add command. From here just select numpad. And now just press the L5 back grip button. What menu popped up? From this drop down bar, we can select the upscaler. First, I'll run the game using FSR3. It's preset performance. I selected performance preset from the in game settings. Make sure enable frame generation and enable hard fix settings are checked. There's the setting to enable debug view. First, I'll run the game without it. Note the third egg. Alright game loaded up and oh my god the textures are not rendered properly. You can literally see the individual pixels. Almost like an oil painting effect. Moving the camera around. Observing a lot of ghosting. It's expected as the base performance is on the lower side. With frame generation we are getting around 55 to 60 fps. Let's move my characters. Yeah game is running differently than how it was running without frame generation. Frame generation does seem to be working, but the graphics are completely broken with FSR3 upscaler. I'll just open mods menu and enable debug view. Yeah, it's working, so frame generation should be working as well. Resolution is being upscaled from 640 by 400 pixels to 800p. Now I'll just switch to XCSS. Debug view is still working. Disable it. Yeah, the textures got fixed using XCSS. Image quality is looking clean. Let me just move the camera. Look for graphical artifacts. 
Yeah, I am observing some ghosting around the character model. Character model flickers. You should be getting slightly less graphical artifacts on a more powerful Linux based system. Base FPS on Steam Deck is on the lower side, like 25 to 30. I'll just trigger the explosion. Observe the FPS counter 45 FPS, 20 FPS. So, even with the mod installed, performance on Steam Deck is rough, not ideal. It's up to you whether you want to use the mod or not. You can see temperatures around 90 degrees Celsius, almost hitting the GP bottleneck. CP usage is around 90%. That's just crazy. This is why I don't recommend playing this game on Steam Deck. Now, before exiting the game, make sure you switch back to FSR3 Upscaler from Pyrodux Mod menu. You also need to disable DLSS from the in-game settings. Otherwise, the game will just get stuck at the loading screen when you run it for the next time. Video DLSS set to off. Accept. Back. Quit. Now you can close the game. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.